everybody. This is Dan Sheridan. Today, I'm going to tackle for a few minutes, can you trust the Greeks in calendars? A lot of people get very excited about this one in terms of they have strong opinions. A couple of things I'm going to address here in this short video. So as you look at, here's a graph of a calendar trade. What is a calendar trade? And I'm using Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade in case those of you who are not familiar with it, this is your graph at expiration. Uh, uh, this is your graph today, the purple line. Um, this will be your uh, p &L on the vertical axis along the horizontal axis. You see uh, the prices of SPX along this checked line here. This is where SPX is trading at right now, 41.16 uh, calendar trade. Here's what I'm buying, here's what I'm selling. And when I check the box, that'll show you what I'm looking at at this time. I have another calendar here, but I haven't, wanted to, haven't looked at that yet. Along this X, this little row here, these are your Greeks right now. A delta gamma theta vega right now at the current price. And then it gives you, which is nice, price slices and thinkers from here's your Greeks. If we go up 2% or down 2%, you can set that what you want. And then here's our focus on a little bit today. Here's the volatility of your long option, volatility of your short, volatility of your long, volatility of your short. Uh, here's your position deltas, blah, blah, oh, blah, blah, blah. All right, so now when you look at a calendar trade and exhibit number one, if I'm buying a Feb 24, selling a Feb 17, I'm just writing it. This is it here. I don't know which, how good you can see. And here's the 4115 calls. So you see, the position delta, you know, here's the graph at expiration. Uh, your short option is uh, 11 days out. Your long option is 18 days out. This is your graph today, the purple line. This is your graph in 11 days. And you can see with time decay, the purple graph over time will morph into the blue line. Now, what is a calendar? A calendar is just two definitions. You're buying a further out expiration, selling it closer in. And generally with a calendar, you're doing it the same strike. If you're more neutral, uh, you will do the, the trade, and we're moving around a little bit here. You'll do it at the money. So right now we're at 4110, more neutral. If I was bullish, I would place, you know, since we're at 41, near 41.10, if I was more bullish, I might put it up at 41.30, you know, above the price. If I was more bearish, put it below. So that's the calendar. Well, what you notice with calendars is, if I'm doing an 11-day calendar, and the way they say that is, you say 11-day calendar is a mixed-month trade, but you go by your shorts. So my, I'm selling the Feb 17s. That's when technically this thing ends, unless I do something. Um, Feb 17 is 11 days to go. Well, you notice the volatility of the long is 1778. The volatility of the, the short is 19.67. So I'd call that a positive skew. Um, that the volatility of your long is less than your short. And you would think, well, that's good, Dan, right? Eh, good and bad, right? That you can buy a volatility almost two points less than your short. Well, that's an 11 day versus a 18 day. Well, if you look out and you go to, okay, what if we go to like a 32 day by a 39? So now I look at another calendar. I go further out. My shorts are 32 days out. Now I look at that as, well, wait a second. 
the volatilities are relatively close together. My long is 1770, my short is 1732. So, all right. So you're gonna see skews here on a 32 day calendar where my shorts are 32 days out, you get a little bit of a negative skew. Dan, what do you mean negative skew? I'm buying a higher volatility than what I'm selling. Well, that doesn't seem good. But you know what? That's the way it is. 80, 90% of the time, when you're looking at 30-day calendars or more, you're going to get a negative skew. That's just the way it is, right? Well, is it a, is it a good opportunity to go shorter term and get these positive skews? No, it's just part of it is that when you go closer to expiration, you're short right? Volatility. There's a lot we can say here, but you're going to see this positive skew more because the short is more driven by what's going on in the market, right? The market moves one way or the other. That will be bid up more because it is so, so short term. So it doesn't make it be better or worse. Those are just characteristics of short term calendars versus longer terms. So when you look at, when you look at Let's going back to uh, the calendar trade. Here's the 11 day calendar. And you say, well, what happens? What does this Vega mean? This Vega means that the volatility of my long goes up a point and my short goes up a point. That should benefit me. So if you're long Vega and the SPX goes down, and usually when the SPX goes down, uh, VIX will go up, which it is today, up a point. So you'd say, okay. So they're saying if the volatility of my long goes up a point from where it's at today and my short goes up a point, I should make 78 bucks, right? Jeez, almost 80 bucks. And on a calendar that's going to be costing me, you know, around a thousand bucks, 80 bucks, that's a pretty stinking good return. What you know, the Vega, well, what's the problem? This is a theoretical number, right? In reality, do the vowels go up? Does the long and the short each go up a point? No, it doesn't work that way. One could go up 20 cents, the other could go up a buck. And the other thing, when you start seeing, like if you look at SPX today, SPX is, let me move this. Uh, SPX is, um, uh, it's up about 90, not even 1%, almost 1%. When you start getting up over 1%, what you'll notice, you know, is when you start getting 1.3% or, or much more movement, I mean, right now, SPX is down 22 points. But if it was down 40 or 50, what you notice is that the volatility of your long option won't go up as much as your short, which is kind of driven by the short-term speed of the market. So what's the, what's the conclusion for this short video? The conclusion is 70% of the time is a rough estimate. You can look at the Vega and say on moderate moves down. Generally, volatility in some way will help you. Again, remember, your, your biggest enemy in a calendar trade is not volatility, it's price movement. But in terms of your, your volatility second, but 70% of the time, you can look at the Vega and say, look, if the market goes down and volatility goes up, I should make a few shekels from the volatility. But I'd say 30% of the time, and it could be more, a little bit more, could be that when the market starts going down in SPX over 1.2, 1 1.3%, especially with a shorter term calendar. What do I mean shorter term calendar? Your short is maybe 14, 15 days from expiration. In that case, you'll notice that the volatility of your shorts will be affected more than your longs. So you won't get the, the volatility benefits that you expected. So are you saying the Greeks aren't realistic? 
I don't think it's the Greeks' fault. I think it's, again, you know, I think you have to understand the relationships of these and how the market works. I might continue on this theme a little bit this week, but I'd encourage you as you start learning the craft of calendars, write down when you put a calendar on, right? If you, if you want to, you know, make the assumption, if you want to learn this stuff, right? What would I do? Write down the price of the underlying when you do it. Write down your Greeks. But write down the volatility of your long and your short. So you can see when the market goes down, what's the effect on those options. Now, in another session this week, I'll get at one big component that we didn't get into today, Vega. Right? What, what the heck does Vega mean? for the individual options. I think a couple examples, hopefully we can make this complex topic a little more palatable. So have a good day. It's a, it's a slow it's a slow news week this week. Uh, next week you have, I think, the CPI. So should be good for range bound trading generally this week. Uh, we have a uh, kind of a respite of news this week. Uh, check us out at sharedmentoring.com. Have a wonderful uh, day to day, folks. We'll see you later.